tons of lawsuits for AIs, Google's new quantum computer may change the game, and is AI hitting a wall? You're watching the AI report, let's get into it. Oh boy, here we go. Actress and comedian Sarah Silverman is suing OpenAI and Meta for copyright infringement. Her lawsuits alleges that these companies have trained their AIs on her material without her consent. The AI models didn't use her work directly, but through what's known as shadow libraries. Websites like Bibliotech, Library Genesis, and the Z Library. Well, fair enough. OpenAI and Meta can't use her data without her consent, but I think these shadow libraries should also share some of the blame, right? By the way, please don't get the wrong idea here, I love sites like these, I use them and even much worse sites all the time. But what's right is right, if Silverman doesn't want her data to be used for training AIs, that's her prerogative and it should be respected. Besides her, authors Christopher Golden, Richard Cudry, and a few others such as Mona Awad and Paul Tremblay all sued OpenAI for copyright infringement. I think this is just the beginning of a wave of lawsuits like this. Hey, I have a blog or two online. I've written some words. I'm sure some AI has been trained on my data without my consent. Should I get in on this racket as well? This will slow down AI. Plus, platforms like Reddit and Twitter are restricting access to their data as well, and companies in general are probably starting to realize the value their data has. However, that may be a good thing. We may have moved too fast and broken too many things. Progress will definitely not stop, but it will slow down. The biggest issue here is that some of the other global AI players may not be so concerned with copyright laws. We all know who I'm talking about. Okay, we have Google next. If they claim to have a new, insanely powerful quantum computer, it allegedly takes a moment to calculate what may take 47 years for the previously most powerful quantum computers. Mm, yeah. Well, these claims are often a bit exaggerated, but Google are definitely at the forefront of quantum computing. They already had a big breakthrough quantum computer back in 2019 with 53 qubits and now the next generation should have 70 qubits. And each new added qubit increases computing power exponentially. So computing power just gets crazier and crazier. And guess what you get when you throw tons of data and the best machine learning algorithms into the most powerful computers ever. Yeah, probably something like godlike artificial superintelligence. Next, news giant Thomson Reuters will acquire legal AI firm CaseTest for $650 million. The main product of CaseTest is CoCounsel, an AI legal assistant powered by GPT-4 that delivers document review, legal research memos, deposition preparation, and contract analysis. Yeah, legal AI will definitely be a big field, and CaseTest are one of the biggest players in the field right now. They had early access to GPT and already have more than 100 employees, so a good play by Reuters here. Australian Research Council bans the use of generative AI tools in grant assessment and peer reviews. The reason for the ban is concerns over confidentiality, breaching intellectual property laws, and compromising the integrity of the peer review process. Mm, okay, fair enough. Maybe you don't want to give millions of dollars in research grants to the people who know how to write the best chat GPT prompts. And finally, we may be hitting a wall in AI development because of what is known as the imitation barrier. Simply put, even the most advanced AIs today don't really have true creativity. They know how to mix words they've read before and throw them back at you in a seemingly impressive way but there's no real originality behind them. Essentially, no AI is capable of generating unique, useful ideas on its own. Well, that might change pretty soon. Researchers at the Silicon Valley Laboratory are exploring a new approach to giving creativity to AI. They believe that humans have a sort of creativity hormone, a molecule or a compound that ignites creativity in humans, and if their hypothesis is correct, they may discover a better model of how human creativity works and use that to train an AI and make it creative. Yeah, great job on making us humans even more obsolete. Keep it up, guys. Well, that's basically where this whole AI thing is going. Figure out every aspect of what it means to be a human being and extract it into a superior, more robust container with more computing power. We don't know what the future holds, so we might as well just enjoy today 
And that's the way it is. That was the AI report. I guess you should hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you tomorrow.